Tonight we have a fantastic Ride a Painted Pony Crazy Art Show. We have the fantabulous, verbose Maggie Casella joining us. We have the hunky, hilarious, and handy Matt Hunter, reinventor. We have the fabulous super scribe Rob Sheridan. And we have uh, Dennis McGrath. He's not coming, sorry. He's a little scared to come downtown, but good news, we got Sean Cole. Who the fuck is Sean Cole? <laughs> he's, he's famous in America. Like that counts. That's what we got, Gulf War vet. <laughs> She's a judge, a hooker. <laughs> no trouble. They're not very high. No, but they're. But like for a both for both. Yeah, lesbian. Which is vegetarian. I don't even call myself a lesbian comic. I'm a current events comic. So not only am I verbose, but I'm a verbose lesbian for fuck's sake. The queer comic is like it's boring. Like shut up. Who cares? Um, that's what I think the evolution of the queer comic is. Like you can have a queer perspective on something, yeah. but you know who cares when you came out? Just shut up. Unless it like <laughs> unless it was the gold in my ear. I don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? Um, but I I, I kind of you know what I mean? it's got to be really special at this point. But, Skinny, your little legs are very skinny. Are you on the break of diet? Mm. Oh my god, the last time yeah, I got two dumped, years. I was, oh, it was horrible. I was 107, my tits were like two pencils. <laughs> the last time I got dumped, I was 107 pounds. That's like the list of Lockhart skinny. It is. And uh, it was horrible. I mean, I was like, ew. <laughs> they were windshield wipers. It's gross. <laughs> but yeah. you may be miserable, but you're going to hit that point where you yeah. turn the corner. It's actually been almost two years. Yeah, yeah. well, it's all right. You should start eating again then. No, no, I'm just kidding. I just, I just throw it up. I just throw it up. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> you're an American. Oh, we're fucked. Don't tell them that. Jesus, I'm gay. Yeah. Let's talk about gay. You know, you told me meet me at Bread and Circus, and I thought it was kind of a date for you, Nate, but this is a bit. Uh... This is a date for me. This is as close is as I get. You gotta get, you gotta get out more. <laughs> she was verbose, by the way. <laughs> she was very verbose. Super fucking verbose. Super fucking verbose. <laughs> You've seen a lot of women in the back. Yeah, backstage right now is incredible. That's all I'm gonna say. You're gonna see it. Wow. <laughs> it's hard to come out here, actually. Yeah. I mean, you're great, but. Yeah, no. there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, or not. Uh, <laughs> combining acting and carpentry must be great for uh, getting laid, but how is it for making money? <laughs> so, do the ladies watch your show? I mean, didn't you tell me that um, you get stopped at Tim Hortons and stuff by. <laughs> Yeah, it, it wasn't Tim Hortons, it was a Starbucks in Berry, which was really <laughs> awesome. A little more scale. Yeah, and it was yeah. definitely a guy who looked like he lived in his mom's basement. And he was like, he hey, you? I recognize your voice from that show. Oh! Uh, I, I was like, do you watch it in the dark? It's <laughs> <laughs> like a screen off and just play back the audio. It's weird. And, uh, <laughs> Sure enough, I'm like, yeah, you're my demographic. Like, yeah. Creepy, dirty, little guy living in his basement. That's, That's awesome. totally my demographic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like something in common. the same guys dig us. It's yeah, the same guy needs to do a sandwich. Yeah. What does every girl need that goes on a mancation? A burka. I don't know. <laughs> Killer. 
weather is perfect for those repressed cocktail parties where a bored and mischievous gal can easily end up in the elevator entertaining the hell. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Sheridan. <laughs> The way writers dress, it's just like, you can sit down at a computer at any second. What's going to happen? On my Facebook wall every now and then, when, when I sort of first joined Facebook, and it was still kind of like a new thing, she would she would put things on there like, uh, like uh, hey Sean, you dirty bum liquor, you know, on my post, <laughs> on my wall. And you know, we're both reporters in public radio and everything, and like my bosses are friends of mine, and my mom's a friend of mine, and everything like that. And I was just like, you? I wrote my back channel there, I was like, could you not do that, or whatever, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you lick her mom? No. no. Ah! <laughs> and so I, my desk is right at the window, so the window, you know, is sort of at ground level. And I'm working, and I feel like I'm being watched. And I look up, and there's a raccoon face in the window, <laughs> staring at me. And so I go on Facebook, and I go, a raccoon just looked in my window. And, and my friend goes, please tell me you were jerking off at the time. That would be awkward. An old hack joke, but I put two, two socks in a dryer, and only one comes out. And he said, I'm serious, I need to find the sock. It's got blood on it. I need to find that fucking sock. And uh, yes, it's funny. But then, uh, and, but then my friend makes like a rapist joke. So uh, I put this and post this under it. So I called him up, like literally two seconds after he posted, I go, are you sure? You really? And he said, well, you put a serial killer on I'm like, eh, it's two different things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like everybody's like, serial killers are funny next. There's no rapist show on HBO. Like, yeah. Who's going to rape this thing? Who's going to rape this thing? For me, horrible, horrible jealousy because people are always doing something more interesting than I am. Uh, and they're and they they're like in love with their wives and they've got. Uh, I specifically try not to post a lot of douchebaggy things about LA. I like, uh, so I was, oh, I just went to the okay, Brown Derby. The Brown Derby been buried for thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be our 1984 or our, you know, The Road? How did I get to The Road? <laughs> <laughs> the Road! <laughs> Kathleen, who said this was okay? Remember <laughs> that movie that six people saw? Yeah. Let's reference that. I actually don't even know what it is. Oh, The Road is horrible. And, uh, but the movie's better than the book because it's over more quickly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a good question, but the Orwellian thing is part, it, part it of it. It is, but I think that's... That's just the internet in general, like Facebook, yeah. Twitter, whatever. Um, no, it's. I don't think it's Orwellian. I think it's. Um, Dickensian. No, I think it's. <laughs> Dickensian. I think it's. <laughs> no. We can get the feedback soon. No, but that's what Facebook is like. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I have uh, an 11 month old daughter. Wow. So it uh, keeps me very busy. How do you do the, um, how do you maintain your rock star <laughs> when you have a, a child at your breast? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I do it in public very openly, kind of <laughs> like spread. No, I totally, I, um, Frankly, you know, I'm very socially awkward right now. There's sort of, I don't know if it's just a, a phase, a uh, sort of postpartum no, phase, is. but like I, in public now, I, I'm not very good at small talk anymore. And um, yeah, I just feel- You're having your brain sucked out. I'm having my brain sucked out literally through my boobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Because I certainly don't feel like a rock star. Like, I, I actually think there are very few real rock stars. Like David Bowie is a fucking rock star. <laughs> you know? People like that are rock stars. But um, you know, frankly people who do reality shows are not necessarily <laughs> rock stars. And you know.